Hello YouTube, it's Danny the Plumber, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how I made a profit of $600 in two hours. I'm not doing this for bragging purposes, rather I'm doing this to show you guys that you can do it too and how easy it is to make $600 in two hours or $300 an hour profit. So right here we have a drain line for a shower and uh, we're in an underground parking lot in beautiful Culver City, California. And we're gonna simply replace this trap right here, a little pipe and a sanitary tee. Um, this trap is a little longer right here. Uh, our trap is gonna be shorter. That's an old style trap. And here's the sanitary tee along with a few no hub couplings. Now I did um, two of these and this is the end result. This is what they're gonna look like at the end. Um, we did two of these in two hours, took about an hour with cleanup. There's the drill I used to remove some of those no-hub couplings right here. It's a 5 16th right there. You put it on there and can take them off, 5 16th inch. Um, to remove the no-hub coupling rubber uh, behind the uh, shielded, uh, corrugated uh, little steel is the rubber right there. We just use a knife and kind of cut it and pry it off with a screwdriver or something sharp. Uh, once again, so he's just kind of getting those all off for me. This is my helper. We charge about $750 for this project, uh, but after paying my helper and materials, I netted around $600 for the two hours. Um, we're just simply removing the old stuff here. There's some water in the trap, of course. That prevents the odors from coming up in your shower. And we're just going to remove everything at first and clean up where we're tying into so we can get the new stuff in there. As you can see, these are pretty well clogged. This is uh, some original 1970s pipe that we are removing. And it's nice and clogged up on this shower line. This is very typical for showers to have hair in them. This looks like a big rat or something like that but it's simply just a bunch of hair and this is why showers get clogged up so easily but with fresh pipes this should be you know a lot better for the drainage okay so we're putting in the sanitary tea this is all two inch which is a minimum code requirement for a shower and what we're doing here is I flip back the no hub coupling rubber you can see it's just flipped in half and this is going to make it easier to install between two fittings and I'll show you that right now um, he's kind of just tightening up a little bit the no hub couplings for the sanitary tee and he's got the trap on the other side already and we're going to slide that pipe right in between the two right in between the sanitary tee and the trap here and we've got all of our stuff just tight enough so it doesn't fall but uh, loose enough to uh, adjust to make that pipe fit in. So we've taken our measurement and here uh, we're gonna cut the pipe using snap cutters. This tool is specifically designed to cut cast iron pipe and it cuts it real nice quickly. So once you get the hang of this tool, um, you can see the cuts are just perfect rather than using a grinder or a Sawzall, which takes a long time. This goes in seconds real nice. Then we're going to slide that pipe into the location in between the trap and the sand tee by flipping those rubber no hub couplings over. They're already on the pipe uh, in half and sliding it in between. Now he's tightening it up with a nut driver. I like doing this rather than the drill. It just gives a little more precision. Follow it up by our to torque wrench. This torques down at 60 inch pounds. Now I'm using my torpedo level to make sure I have a minimum of a quarter inch per foot slope. As you can see, I have a greater than here, which is fantastic. And here is the end result of our first one. We're doing two showers today, so that is um, half the job. And here's the end result of our second one. I'm not gonna show you guys the whole step-by-step -step of the second one, but that's a mirror image of the same thing. Okay, and that's how I profited $300 per hour doing plumbing work. And this is not something out of the ordinary. If you're a good plumber, there is plenty of opportunities out there to make money like this. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe.